Question. Where does music notation come from? Part 1. Answer. The ancient Egyptians had a number of musical systems that were burned in the libraries of Alexandria during Julius Caesar's conquest of Egypt in 30 BCE, at the time the library had the world's largest catalogue rivaling that of Rome. Only a few of these existing scrolls are available to the public. Most information on African sciences and mathematics are locked away deep within vaults of museums and various preservation societies. Luckily we've stepped into a new arena of world freedom which has fostered the release of new and old information hidden for political, religious and or financial reasons. Colonialism has thus had a major impact on the world's view of history. The diagrams in upper left-hand corner is an Egyptian notation that shows us they developed a highly advanced system. These sequence patterns show us a form of circular nodes similar to arpeggiators and sequences. The twelve half-steps of an octave are represented by unique colors with the size of the circle defining loudness slash intensity. Notice how this looks very similar to their depictions of the sun in the illustration in the bottom right corner of the screenshot. The ancient Egyptian systems of astronomy were highly complex yet still only a few samples are available to the public. Also take note that the top center diagram of the star slash sun evolution looks similar to the additionally. Remember music notation shows us how sounds change visually over time. The Egyptians were well aware of what's known as the music of the spheres that was coined more recently alluding to the harmony of the cosmos. Scientists have even been able to sample the sounds made by the planets in our solar system. Many African music systems focus on circles as you can see in the example of the Egyptian multiplication system depicted in the center pic at the bottom of the screenshot. I designed the TTM diagram above it to reflect ways of notating intensity, bandwidth and timbre using an abacus system for TTM strings. I created TTM using African geometry and trigonometry. Notice how the TTM BPM skip proof record charts in the bottom left corner depict the same types of geometric divisions as do the Egyptian illustrations in the lower right corner. The images of buildings in the upper right corner of this screenshot are ancient and modern libraries of Alexandria. I encourage you all of you to check your local libraries and museums for books and artifacts that can further illuminate non-Western systems that are currently not being taught by music schools. Whether you live in a metropolis or a small town, there may be some hidden rare jewel in your local library, museum or university that could change the world's understanding of the past. I've decoded the, the colors of each note for you all below using the key to the left of the Egyptian notation. C equals yellow. C sharp equals pink. D equals dark purple. D sharp equals reddish brown. E equals dark blue. F equals dark green. F sharp equals brown. G equals black. G sharp equals dark yellow. A equals reddish orange. A sharp equals gray. B equals light green. It's quite interesting that these ancient Africans decided to use the note A as the color of the sun discs used in their diagrams that depict various deities. It's also important to see that the Greek writing on the Egyptian music school seems to have been written at another time using a different type of ink. There also appears to be some writing at the top of the pitch key that seems to have been scribbled over. During Roman expansion and the European colonialism of Africa which came later, documents and artifacts were altered, destroyed and hidden.